the owner of uh, Microsoft, Bill Gates, right? I mean, this guy is thinking, what, what is he talking about, man? Well, what are we doing over here, man? We're doing construction, we're talking about Bill Gates. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, but it's interesting. So actually, we don't have a script, right? It's just like basically pure improvisation. And that's what we do. We improvise. We improvise the, sh the shot. Uh, we improvise, you know, basically when I know I'm going to shoot that day. I mean, I'm writing a book, right? So I'm a writer and I constantly think about stuff, right? So, because I'm passionate. My, 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 I, I'm jokingly saying my secret passion is, you know, self-development. That, that's, that's what I love. I love self-development and I think, I think psychology, that's what really going to get you to the next level. It's not about like how good you are at what you do. It's about the psychology, how you see what you do. Like you can be a diesel mechanic and become a millionaire, right? It's not about what you do. It's how you see what you do, how you capture you know your environment you know so going to bill gates uh, again somebody asked you know um kind of based on that debate why microsoft want to get into electric cars right and that, that's the same answer you know my answer is why not you know why not man if you have the power if you can create more jobs if you have the potential to do something right because bill gates is not sitting there thinking oh i know something about electric cars or not He's thinking, where are the opportunities right now in the planet where I can make another $100 billion, where I can get, get another 100,000 people, you know, jobs. In that level, in that game, in that, you know, in that level of the game, you're not thinking about making a billion dollars. You already made $100 billion, right? So you need to have like a real purpose, a real mission in every stage that keep you going to the next stage because it's not about you anymore. That's it, man. You got all the money in the world. What do you want? Right? So, so I believe that those people in that level, they go for something else, okay? They go in for something that most people, include myself, didn't think about or didn't go to in one point. Because after you make, for him, it's maybe 100 billion. For you, it might be a million dollar. What's after that one million? Okay, you made, here, here's a million dollar. What's next? So the next level, it's how you can do something that's bigger than your own self. How you can do something that actually changed the community and potentially even change the world, right? Like by, by the service you provide and by the jobs you create and the things you do that make, you know, as corny as it sounds, you know, make, make the world a better place, right? So if you get to that level, if you can actually think, you know, and, and by the way, because 80% of success is psychology and 20% it's also only the mechanics, like what to do and how to do and so forth, then, you know, it all comes down by understanding what you want. You know, if you can actually sit down and, and write down what you want and have a goal or goals in mind, then, I mean, that, that's where the magic happens, right? The magic happens when you understand what you want to do and you have a, 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 an actual plan, an actual game plan to create it. And it's not about where you are, how successful you are or you know, how broke you are. It's about where is the potential right now. Maybe the potential right now is go work for McDonald's so you can pay, you know, pay the rent. That, that's, a, that's a level. Working in McDonald's, that's a level. It's not a bad, it's not, there is no, it's, it's not about bad or good or bad. Some people say, hey, working in McDonald's is not good. No, it's better than anything. It's better than nothing. Working in McDonald's, it's still something. It's still going to pay you something, right? Maybe you're not going to become a millionaire, Right, but but it's a level, and then you think about okay, the next level, right? So it's always about where this, where 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 is your current skill to match your potential? Where where how you can get to the next level? So people are like okay, I want to be a billionaire. Okay, what what should I do? Okay, what do I know how to do right now? So I can I can I can how can I maximize my potential in my industry? So I was thinking about it, right? And that's how Bill Bill Gates thinks, right? He thinks about maximize. He's got a hundred billion. What is the potential in what he does? You know, what type of resources he's got, what type of skills he's got. Mm, he's thinking, okay, I got all those 100,000 employees. Um, boom, let's do, let's get into the business of gaming, right? So Microsoft got into the business of doing, people don't even maybe realize that, but, but PlayStation, right? I mean, X, uh, Microsoft is, is the owner of Xbox, right? They got into gaming. What Microsoft, you know, creating, create, creator of the IB, the, the, the Windows software, what they got to do with gaming. You see what I'm saying? 
Why? Because gaming is a billion dollar industry. That's why. Why not? Is you know what I'm saying? I'm saying why not? You get it? Why not, man? You know, you got a billion dollars. Let's make another hundred billion. So when I say before, if you, if you go back, what I say, the, potentially the clock is ticking. Potentially we're not going to have, we, we, in, maybe, maybe in the future, you're not going to be able to see those tycoons have so much power abilities, which means they potentially going to limit the American dreams. Maybe, maybe they're going to say, okay, you cannot do more than 100. You cannot be worth more than a certain extent. You cannot have that much power that you can control that industry and that industry and that industry. I mean, you know, those companies, those, those tech, tech giants, as, as a few companies got more money than the country, you know? So they, they're talking about limit that power. And we're going to see what happens next few years. I don't, it, definitely not something's going to happen. I mean, they have to change the constitution, you know? So it's not going to, it's not something that's going to happen. I'm from Israel, by the way. I've been here for 20 years. So if I know a little bit about those type of things, you know, as a foreigner, as somebody that came from a different country, then trust me, there is people that know better than me about those things, right? But if I'm hearing about it, right, and I'm just like listening a little bit, then there is so many things that, that nobody knows yet, I guess, in that environment, right, that we don't know what's the future plan, right? We don't know what's going on, basically, right? We just like hardworking people living our day-to-day -day life, trying to make it, you know, trying to go after the American dream. That's really the bottom line.